Welcome to the AutoStem project How to Make a Jellybird tutorial. The paper and card have already been printed and here's the sort of carton that you're going to need to cut the supports out of. The first job is to cut the paper and card shapes out and these can be done with just normal household or school type of scissors that are always available. So now we've cut all the shapes out, we now have to cut the support material. So we've taken a piece of the carbon material that we saw earlier, we place the template on it and draw around that with a pen or a pencil. We then cut around that shape twice to make the two supports that we will need. We now create the body of the bird by putting the two body pieces, body one and body two together and then sticking them or gluing them together. In this case, we're using sellotape. Now, as you can see, we only stick on the outside of the dotted lines. This is so that the central part will remain empty so we can push the wings through that central part of the body. The next job is to make the wings. Now here you'll see on the wing one and wing two, the dotted lines are very important. You take the strut one, which we've made now in the uh, carton material, and you stick that to one side of that carton material. You can see we're doing it twice, sticking twice to give it more secure. You then turn it over and take wing two again with the dotted line at the top of the strut, uh, strut and you put that and stick that down as well. Job done. You now take support two and stick it to the other side of the body. You see the dotted line there, line it up with the dotted line, stick that, you'll see it hangs down below the body, job done. We now add the beak, the tail and the eyes and you'll see why we kept that space at the ends open as well. So we can put a dab of glue on there and this is the beak going again at the front end and that's just stuck there at the front. You can see we can open it up and put it in the gap. Same with the tail and then finally the eyes on either side. One. I think we're only going to stick one here, not to the other side. Now we need to add the wings. So we take the wing piece that we've already got and we push it through the gap between the two. This can be a little bit fiddly initially because it's all new material. But as you can see with our wonderful assistant, we'll actually get there and we push that through. It's all going through up to the point where the uh, top of the struts and then we bend over the wings on either side. And that gets us ready to go. Here's a finished jelly bird, all painted and ready to fly. We hope you'll enjoy making them too. 